Saint Therese of Lisieux, feast day, October first. Early life. Saint Therese was born in Alicon, France, on January second, eighteen seventy-three. Her parents were Zélie and Louise Martin. Soon after her birth, people thought she was going to die because she was hospitalized as she was a very sick baby. On April 2, 1874, when she was 15 months old, she finally got to live with her family. St. Therese's mother later died when St. Therese was only 4 years old. St. Therese and her dad moved to Lisieux, France where her mother's brother lived. St. Teresa grew very close to her cousin, Celine. Quick fact, St. Therese was homeschooled and was very smart for her age. Sickness. St. Therese was often sick. She began to suffer from nervous tremors. The tremors started when anyone talked about her dead mother. Her family thought that she was cold, so they covered St. Therese with blankets. St. Therese could not talk anymore. Eventually, St. Therese recovered after she saw a Mother Mary statue smile at her on May 13, 1883. St. Therese also suffered from scruples, but then she overcame it. Quick fact, St. Alphonsus Liguori and St. Ignatius Loella also suffered from scruples. Carmelite While she was a Carmelite, St. Therese prayed a lot. She started to do small acts of charity, like giving flowers to people. That is why she's known as the Little Flower. St. Therese was inspired by the preaching of Father Heidnik Voisin, who was a Carmelite priest. She said that, My soul was like a book, which the priest read better than I did. On February 20th, 1893, St. Therese became the assistant of Mother Agnes. On August 1895, four of St. Therese's cousins became Carmelites. Quote, Remember that nothing is small in the eyes of God. Do all that you do with love. This quote was said by St. Therese of Lisieux. Final Days In 1896, she went to bed on the eve of Good Friday. And when she woke up, her handkerchief was covered in blood. On August 19, 1897, she received her last communion. She died on September 30th, 1897, at the age of 24 from tuberculosis. St. Teresa's last words were, I have reached the point of not being able to suffer anymore, because all suffering is sweet to me. My God, I love you. St. Teresa was born on October 4th, 1897. She was then put in the Basilica Shrine of St. Therese of Lisieux in Lisieux, France. Quick fact, St. Therese was buried near her parents. Canonization, St. Therese was canonized on May 17, 1925 by Pope Pius XI. 28 years after her death. She quickly became one of the most popular saints in the world. Her feast was added onto the general Roman calendar in 1927. Her feast day was originally October 3rd, 
But 42 years later, Pope Paul VI moved it to October 1st instead. In 1927, Pope Pius XI declared St. Therese the co-patron of the missions of St. Francis and Xavier. In 1944, Pope Pius XII made her the co patriot of France with Joanne of Arc. St. Therese is also the patron saint of flowers and florists. St. Therese's parents, Louise and Zelie Martin, were also canonized on October 18, 2015. Quick fact. St. Therese was declared a saint five years after Joanne of Arc. Prayer to St. Therese O little Therese of Child Jesus, please pick me a rose from the heavenly gardens and send it to me as a message of love. O little flower of Jesus, ask God today to grant the favors I now place with confidence in your hand. St. Therese, help me to always believe in God as you did, so that may I imitate you a little way each day. Amen. The End Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to know more about other saints. Thank you.